2017 Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe review back in March of this year, we attended a very special event. The event in question was driving a pre-production GLC Coupe around Stuttgart before the car had even been revealed to the public. This would happen just over a week later at the New York Motor Show, fast forward three and a half months and we got to experience the GLC Coupe again, this time in full production spec. The GLC Coupe owes its distinct character to a characteristically coupesque, single louver diamond radiator grille and a restyled, dropping roof line. The pillar is less steeply raked, while the continuation of the roof outline is lower terminating in the elegantly flowing, muscular tail end characteristic of a coupe. Marketed as the sports car among the midsize SUVs the GLC Coupe is 76mm longer than its sibling, at a length of 4.73m, has a wheelbase of 2.87m, and sits 38mm lower. Design The GLC Coupe design sees the Mercedes design idiom of its current SUV models blended with a characteristic elongated roofline of a sports coupe. This combines the multifunctionality of the of an SUV with the sporty design and feel of a stylish coupe, in the same manner that Mercedes-Benz succeeded with the GLE Coupe, but in a more compact package. As you'd expect. The GLC Coupe shares the majority of its architecture with its hatchback brother, the GLC. It features a steeply raked front that flows into the bonnet, before meeting the A-pillar. The restyled roof slopes down into the elegant curved tail end of the coupe and features rear window that has dispensed with a rear wiper. Its powerful bumper design, with integrated exhaust and diffuser at the rear, help to reaffirm the sport characteristics of the GLC Coupe. Despite the GLC Coupe having greater exterior dimensions, the GLC 254 Matic comes in at a curb weight of 1,710 kg. Weight saving has been gained by the use of a new hybrid material body and by manufacturing a vast majority of the components from aluminium, for example the front wing, bonnet, roof paneling, door hinges and various suspension components to name but a few. Additionally 12 kg are saved by casing the powered rain in magnesium instead of aluminium. The optional air suspension can further increase weight saving through the use of glass fiber reinforced plastic. Thanks to its elegant design, the GLC Coupe boasts segment leading aerodynamic performance, engine and performance under the hood there is the choice of 8 engine variants. 4 diesel, 3 petrol and 1 plug-in hybrid. The entry-level engine is the 200D, which produces 136 horsepower, whilst the most powerful variant being the V6 by Turbo GLC 43 formatic coupe that outputs 367 horsepower and has a 0 to 100 km per hour time of 4.9 seconds. The plug-in hybrid comes in the form of the 350 formatic and has an output of 320 horsepower whilst emitting just 59 to 64 grams of CO2 slash km. A new standard in its class, the plug-in hybrid offered up to 34 km off emission free driving, a 0 to 100 km per hour time of 5.9 seconds and an electric only top speed of 135 km per hour. The full range on offer is as follows. 200D, 220D Formatic, 250D Formatic, 350D Formatic, 250 Formatic, 300 Formatic, 43 Formatic and the 350 Formatic. Thanks to a reduced frication all-wheel drive powertrain, outstanding aerodynamics and an intelligent lightweight design the GLC Coupe boasts minimal fuel consumption and emissions whilst also offering performance on a par with that of a sports car. The plug-in hybrid comes equipped with silent start, which lets the GLC start almost silently by running in purely electric mode with the combustion engine kicking in later if needed. Another feature of the plug-in hybrid is boosting where the electric motor kicks in to add an additional 85 kW to the combustion engine's output, 
dropping the 0 to 100 km per hour time to 5, 9 seconds. When the GLC Coupe is in Eco or Comfort mode, there is the option of 4 operating modes. Hybrid mode, which uses all the hybrid functions, boost, recuperation and electric mode, to give the optimum fuel efficiency. E-mode is used for all electric driving. E-save, allows for the charge state of the battery to be maintained, allowing for all electric driving at a later stage in the journey and charge mode, which charges the battery whilst driving on the combustion engine. Gearbox and Chassis Both the petrol and the diesel versions of the GLC Coupe come equipped with the 9G Tronic 9-speed automatic transmission whilst the plug-in hybrid comes with a 7-dronic plus transmission that has been optimized for the needs of a hybrid vehicle. The new all-wheel drive powertrains allocate the drive door to the front and rear axles with a 45 hours 55 minutes split via planetary differential, and depending on which mode the GLC Coupe is in, can offer enjoyable high-speed shifting as well as jittle, gear changes for enjoyable cruising. As briefly stated above, there are five different modes a GLC Coupe can be set in. The Eco setting puts the emphasis on energy efficient driving, and is tuned to make the GLC Coupe drive in the most efficient manner possibly, whilst Comfort Mode balances its comfortable suspension setting with a fuel efficient engine setup. Next, there is Sport and Sport Plus both of which primarily focus on offering sports car Esquire handling and performance. The sport setting lowers the GLC Coupe by 15 mm when fitted with air body control, whilst the suspension firms up and throttle response opens up. Sport Plus takes the sport setting and gives you an even more responsive and firm configuration, to further give that feel of a sports car. The final setting available is individual which lets you configure the suspension, steering, and performance to your own personal preferences. As standard the GLC Coupe offers a sports suspension with robust sprinting and a reduced tendency to roll. Things can be made even sportier with the selection of the dynamic body control option, which features steel sprinting and adjustable damping. The second optional suspension setup is air body control air suspension. This configuration combines excellent driving stability with optimal comfort, with still harboring its sporty edge. The GLC Coupe is the only model in its sector that offers the fitting of multi-chamber air suspension system and the electronically controlled, continuously adjustable adaptive damping system plus, adds plus. Further benefits of the air body control are reduced roll during cornering, automatic level control and the ability to lower the load compartment 40 mm for loading and unloading. When the GLC Coupe is put into comfort mode, and is equipped with air body control, the spring and damper forces instantaneously adjust to maintain an especially comfortable ride even in cases of sudden movement. Interior The interior of the GLC Coupe is styled on a level that is on par with models in a more expensive segment. This comes from the choice of high-class materials, and the craftsmanship put in to create them. The Mercedes-Benz interior design ethos is carried across from sibling models into the GLC Coupe. In the center of the GLC Coupe is the large, one-piece console panel that sweeps down to the armrest, positioned centrally, and partially integrated into the top of center console this is the multifunctional display, available as standard as 7-inch screen or 8.4 inches when the command online option is ordered. Ambient lighting is available in three colors in the GLC Coupe, Solar, Amber, Polar, Ice Blue, and Neutral, White, all of which have five brightness settings and can be selected from the main command unit. In the front of the GLC Coupe are sportsily configured climatized seats, that due to their design, 
offer great comfort across the shoulders and generously groom for rear passengers and include ventilation with reversible direction of flow. The rear seats boast individual set character and can be folded with a 40-20-40 split, whilst the automatic child seat recognition system ditches the old transponder in favor of a way mat. This means that any child seat can be used and the airbag is automatically deactivated. When it comes to covering the interior of the GLC Coupe, there is a wide selection of colors, materials available to spec. Artico, Artico slash Dynamica, Leather and Napa Leather are all available as options and can be combined with various trim packages including in black piano lacquer look, standard equipment, in open pour ash wood or AMG carbon fiber, light longitudinal grain aluminium. Another feature is pre-entry climate control. This allows the driver to preset the interior climate via the Mercedes Me Connect app, before entering the GLC Coupe. So in winter you can set the GLC Coupe to always warm up before your journey to work, and in summer cool it down before you head home. As standard, the GLC Coupe comes with the Audio 20 CD system, and is fronted by a 7-inch display in the center console. There is also Bluetooth connectivity, audio streaming and USB ports. With the addition of the optional Garmin Map Pilot, the Audio 20 CD system becomes a fully-fledged navigation system. Another option available is Command Online, which increased the display size to 8.4 inches and increased the resolution. Command Online also allows access to digital TV and radio, live tailback avoidance, Voice Zero operated controls and a LAN hotspot. Thanks to the Burmeister surround sound system installed in the car, the audio quality is on par with that which you would expect in a professional concert hall. Thanks to the 9-channel DSP amplifier, 13 speakers and total system output of 590 watts. As expected in all Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes Me Connect is available in the GLC Coupe, meaning that accident recovery, breakdown management, maintenance management and tele-diagnostics are all available. Assistance systems as with all new current models, there is a long list of systems on the GLC Coupe to help assist you in staying as safe as possible whilst on the road. Included as standard are assistance systems such as Collision Prevention Assist Plus, Crosswind Assist, Headlamp Assist, Attention Assist, and Astronic Plus. Collision Prevention Assist Plus uses a radar-based system to constantly monitor the traffic in front of the vehicle, and can determine the distance and speed of the vehicles ahead. If the distance drops significantly below the safety threshold, the system issues a visual warning to the driver, with an audible warning coming if there is a serious risk of collision. Whilst doing this the system is also calculating the braking power required to prevent an impact from speeds as low as 7 km per hour. If the driver fails to react to any of the warnings then the system can go one step further and autonomously brake for slower or stopping vehicles. Attention Assist warns the driver of inattentiveness and drowsiness, with the instrument cluster displaying the level of drowsiness and how long the driver has gone since their last break. Headlamp Assist allows for the headlights to be permanently on main beam, with a sensor detecting any oncoming traffic and masks the beam from them. Automatic Parking Assist is also present and allows for automated parking with active steering and brake intervention in both parallel and perpendicular parking spaces. All the driver now has to do to activate the system is engage reverse gear and confirm by pressing the OK button on the steering wheel. The driver is able to control acceleration of the vehicle by lightly pressing the accelerator or releasing the brake. Another option is Buzz Plus with Cross Traffic Assist. This system not only helps to avoid or reduce rear end collisions in traffic, but also incidents that involving crossing traffic and pedestrians. In the event of a collision the system visual and audibly warns the driver, assisting the driver if they brake too lightly and in some case applying the brakes itself. Addition 1 also available for the GLC Coupe, 
is the exclusive edition one package. Exterior features of this package include the AMG exterior line, night package, 20 inches light alloy AMG wheels, high performance LED headlamps and heat and noise insulating acoustic glass. Inside the edition one there is bi-color look leather upholstery which is available in two different specifications. The fist combination is based on the AMG interior line and has sports seats in two-tone cranberry red, black leather and black open pour ash wood trim. The second option is the exclusive interior, which has the Designo two-tone design platinum white pearl, black interior including light longitudinal green aluminium trim in the dashboard and doors plus black open pour ash wood trim in the center console. Other distinguishing features are the addition one lettering on the front wings and addition one badge on the center center console. The Edition 1 is time limited and is available to spec on all engine and paintwork variants. Driving experience to get our first experience of the production spec GLC Coupe range. I headed to Turin to drive the several models over a 24-hour period in the Aosta Valley. Upon arriving in Turin I was transferred by awaiting Mercedes-Benz shuttle service and driving to the amazing former royal residence of Reggia di Venaria Real. Regular readers should recognize that name as the end destination of our Parco Valentino experience on our tour last year, and the location for our meeting with Pagani's Vanishing Point Rally. Upon arriving at Reggiati Venaria Real the range of GLC Coupe we had on offer for the 24 hours was were spread out in front of the residence. I had been given the keys to a diamond silver Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 Coupe with dynamic body control for the first leg of the journey, a 100 plus km drive up to our overnight hotel of Grand Hotel Bilia in St. Vincent. Once out of Venaria Real, it was on to the E25 to Ivry and I got myself familiar and comfortable in the car, firstly by setting the GLC 300 Coupe into comfort mode. The GLC 300 Coupe ate up the kilometers and in now time we had reached the exit for Ivry. After turning off the E25 it was off into the twisty mountain roads behind Turin, for this I switched the GLC 300 Coupe into Sport Plus. Instantly you could feel the GLC 300 Coupe sink down, the suspension firm up, the throttle become more responsive and the engine growl. The GLC 300 Coupe stuck to the road twisty roads great and with each corner it seemed to get more and more comfortable being powered up the small roads. Again it seemed that in no time I was at our overnight accommodation, the Grand Hotel Billia.